Your mustache is looking great, man. Well, once you told me I was going to be on TV, I had to make myself look as good as I could. For Mustache May, too, right? It'll probably uh, go on the back burner once May's over. But So when did this begin for you, man? Like, when did you start cutting hair in general? Well, I went to college, and my parents got me just a, you know, a subpar clipper set. Right, like the and, Walmart type Yeah, just there. a Walmart brand. They're like, you know what? Maybe be able to cut some teammates' hair up at school. And uh, it started off by just shaving some heads. Yeah. And uh, before you know it, like, guys were being, hey, I'll, I'll be your dummy. Okay. I'm like, okay. As long as you know, no expectations. And, uh, I mean, before you knew it, I was just doing everything. It's been no pressure zone because every guy that I cut their hair, they're like, okay, well, if you screw it up, then we'll just shave it. All right. So that's like, right. So that's the play t here today, Caddy. Yep. If we screw up. Is that cool with you and your wife? Hey, <laughs> I trust you, Connor. Now, Caddy, you've seen some of his work on some of the teammates, right? Seen some pretty big cuts so far this year. Who's... Saw one yesterday that I didn't think I'd ever see. <laughs> what was it? Dylan Dobson, one of the best foot hawks I've ever seen. I've done pretty much every kind of haircut you can think of. Yeah? Yeah. Back in college, I, I had a buddy who was a little over the top. I guess you could say. And he said, put a shooting star on the side of my head. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted my, like, I used to get my head shaved. Like, that was my thing, right? To get yeah. head shaved. I went through a bowl phase, which no one told me, like, that was the worst thing you could possibly do, like, when I was in elementary school. Yep. And I had Bo shaved into the back of my head. I was oh. a huge Bo Jackson fan. No way. Yeah. It's a tough look, Jay. That's I know. tough. <laughs> well, and then another kid... He was like, why don't you put a baseball on the side of my head? Okay. And I'm like, all right, let's give it a try. So obviously you need to have seams. Right. So I just kept like two strips of hair at an angle and then just <laughs> shaved the hair around it. It looked pretty good. So you got a baseball, a shooting star. Yeah. Those have probably been the most gnarly. You know, when we go on the road, I know this from my experience. Obviously, like my hair, this is the, this is... This is the number one asset that I have, right? As, yeah. a, t as a TV guy. Show here. So I can't trust this, you know, XYZ generic clips in Bowie, Maryland with this bad boy, right? Can't do it. So I think for the guys, right? I mean, like, they know what they're getting from you, and they don't have to go off and find a, a place to get their hair cut on the road. That's, that's why I do it, just convenience. You know, guys can just kind of come off the field and be like, hey, cut my hair real quick. And if I'm not doing anything, then... I'll bang it out real quick. Yeah. But what I usually do, is, well, don't tell anybody, but what I usually do is guys will be like, hey, can I get a haircut? And I'm like, yeah, tomorrow. And before you know it, you got seven days worth of yeah, tomorrows. <laughs> and uh, then I have everybody lined up. Because it's like. <laughs> you do it all at once, right? I don't know. Yeah. Seeing as it's a voluntary thing, cutting, yeah. cutting hair every single day gets tough. Now, have your parents allowed, let oh, you do yeah. their hair? My dad, every time he comes into town, he's like, hey. I need a haircut. Touch me up, man. Yep, that's it. Well, who's the most famous person? I mean, you've been doing this a while now. Have you cut any big leaguer's hair? I think I might have cut Susack's hair before. All right, big leaguer. That was All a right. long time ago, though. Um, Kyle uh, Crick? No, never got... Crick, yeah, actually. Yeah. What'd you say is more important for guys? Caddy, you've been around players a long time. Clothing, hair, shoes. Ooh. Ooh. For me, that's an easy answer. It's got. It starts with the shoes. It does. You can you can add anything to the outfit, but if you have a nice pair of shoes on, I feel amazing. Guys are temperamental. Like you think like, oh, they're just dudes. Like it's gonna. They they want to look at. Yeah, Conley, oh, yeah. I know you're a shoe guy, right? Let's... I'm a shoe guy. Yeah. Ever since I was young, um, I, I was into the Jordans, and my mom. I mean, all through middle school, everybody used to make fun of me, probably because they were jealous, but it was like every week like I came to school with a new pair of shoes on. <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll always be a shoe guy, that's for how sure. Many, how many pairs do you have? Oh, my, my gosh. My fiance is trying to get me to get rid of most of them. Yeah. It takes up too much space in the closet. But let's, uh, let's change it. How many do you have in your Richmond apartment that you have with you? Or did you bring them all with you? 
No, I can't bring them all. That's a whole separate bag. Let's see. One, two, five on the top shelf, four on the floor, uh, two pairs of sandals. And then in my locker here, I got uh, about six pairs. Okay. Yeah. So that's not so bad, that's is it? It's not bad, no. Caddy, you're looking good, man. I appreciate that. Are you, you weren't nervous at all, were you? Not at all. You can be honest. Yeah, I mean, this former catcher. He's got to be good with his hands. Yeah. Good with his hands. Good decision making skills. Yeah, I mean, the, the, that's all you want in a book. The leader of men. I would venture to say the finesse that I'm seeing here on the haircutting translates to the baseball field. You know? <laughs> yeah, it might be. When you don't throw 100 miles an hour, you need some finesse in your life. <laughs> you want me to knock down the beard at all? We got her. It's up to you. We can brush it out a little bit to see where it's at. It's like a nice. Tyler Horan style beard. Oh, man. man. Tyler Horan. We're from the same hometown. Are you really? That is yep. right, yeah. Played a little league together. Really? Same age? Uh, yeah, he was a great above me. That's awesome. Good dude. Yeah, he's a great guy. He was a really, really good high school football player. Yeah. You can see that. He was a fullback linebacker. I'm sure you can picture that. Yeah. Yeah. I went to one of his games. He ran a guy over. He truck him. He ran a guy over. He jumped over a guy. I'm like, and he's going to school to play baseball? <laughs> All right, what do, you, what do we think, everybody? Yeah. Is that it? This is, uh, is going to be the best Molly Maids look. <laughs> Ever. Oh, might, yeah. Might have to get a new wig tonight. Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. show it off. Explain to me the whole Molly Maids thing. It started with uh, all guys back before I got here, 2011. Really? And then it kind of transitioned. And now this is third year doing it? Yeah. yeah. Good? Perfect. Good deal. Wow. Look at that. All right. I'm up. You're up. Here we go. All right, Connolly. Not too much off the top, but, you know, make me look sharp. 